<laughs> before you before you answer this question, I want to set the tone for the audience. I want right. to set the tone for the audience because normally when an athlete turns pro, he goes to a they, he or she goes to a training camp, and mm-hmm. using that training camp, it'll be like maybe one star. You know what I mean? That's you know the head of the camp, and then you have a couple other prospects that are in the camp that do well. You know, not consistently as a star. But Don, Don went into a camp that had walking living legends that she was training with already. So yeah, give, me, well, give us a list of people you train with. Absolutely. Joanna Hayes, the defending Olympic champion. So she won the thing right before, like the one that I'm trying to go and do. She's like, just did that and set the Olympic record. So she didn't just, she did run it faster than anyone else. Then you had um, two-time world champion, Michelle Perry. She had been undefeated for three years. Okay, 05, 06, 07. So, and then I come in really pro, pro in 07. Uh, then you had, <clears throat> she went to SC. <laughs> she is a terrible, terrible person. No, I'm just playing. Um, <laughs> Ow, at the time, the collegiate record holder. And I was in that race when she set the collegiate record. And then, and mind you, all of them every day, let's be very clear. Every day we came to practice. And they showed up in their brand new Nike stuff in their brand new BMW and Mercedes. Okay. Um, name on their shoes, laced. And then I had my old UCLA gear with my old spikes because I didn't have any money working three jobs on a hope and a dream. Like every day. And understand it was the it, environment got so intense sometimes that Bobby was like, y'all can't train together. So he would go two at a time. Like we would warm up and stuff. But he'd be like, y'all wait. Y'all can't run this set because it would turn into a full on race. And he's like, no one is executing. You didn't do nothing I told you to do. <laughs> the line. Because um, y'all just was, out there competing then. That's straight yep. up. Like, yo, I need because for me also, and I know for all of us, think about it. You brought an SC athlete over to UCLA campus. And at the time, she had just won. In 06, she actually won nationals. Okay? So now you have these athletes like, I'm the top dog. No, she the top dog because she kind of won the last one. So every time we line up, I need to prove to myself, I know I'm ready to prove it was just a constant mental battle every every so day. So it was a layer. It was a layer of the OGs in the group mm-hmm. and then the new the newcomers mm-hmm. in the group who were the top dogs in your yeah. own right. So did yeah. you but, were you intimidated at all, or did you just jump right into the mix and was like, "Hey, I'm trying to, I'm trying to bang with all y'all." So it, so I think it's funny. I was I, I wasn't intimidated. I was absolutely clear that I was willing to empty the tank. I needed to know how much I had. In, like I wasn't afraid to say, "No, I I understand. I got to go toe to toe with y'all every day, but I'm trying to see what that's like." Like, I didn't want to, you know, kind of go there and look up to them so much. And we go through reps and I'm like, well, if Bobby said come through at 24, they're going to lead. I'm like, nah, you got inside of one. I got the outside of one. Like, I, I had to test myself because I knew that when the time came and the gun went off, I didn't want to tell myself, you gave them an edge every day at practice. Like, how you, how can you now believe that you can beat them? And I will say they were very nice um, to me with being open with information. Like, I ask questions all the time. Like, I was a student. I had to be a student of the sport. And so I was very clear on asking questions. I think I asked Michelle a little more questions because she was like, she was an overthinker. Like Bobby would tell her, stop, thinking. you're doing too much. She was, I mean, she, she would really study the event. So I would talk to her a lot and she was just, she was an open book. I mean, she would talk to me about certain things and I'm like, I mean, it was almost like in my head, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So 